The major evil of the modern times has been linked to tribe addiction. The fascination of drugs and its availability have heightened the number of drug abuse cases. The alarming rate of drug consumption has always been a problem and has detrimental effects on society. The hallmark of drug addiction has been linked to repetitive exposure, which induces widespread adaptive changes in the brain. But, how do these hallucinogens affect the brain? How would these changes affect someone's perception, consciousness, and senses? How do these drugs work in the mind? As the number of drug addiction increases, so is the number of substances used. LSD is one of the types of opioid hallucinogen that has the ability to alter consciousness such that the individual senses things that are not present. It induces, often in an unpredictable way, perception symptoms. including shape and color distortion. Psychosis-like manifestations. Depersonalization, hallucinations, distorted time perception, have led some to classify these drugs as psychotomimetics. It also produces somatic symptoms such as dizziness, Nausea, paresthesias, and blurred vision. Some users have reported intense re experiencing of perceptual effects or flashbacks up to several years after the last drug exposure. Hallucinogens differ from most other drugs in that they induce neither dependence nor addiction. However, repetitive exposure still leads to rapid tolerance. When LSD is swallowed, psychoactive effects typically appear after 30 minutes and last 6 to 12 hours.
Although hallucinogens and LSD in particular have been proposed for several therapeutic indications, efficacy has never been demonstrated. During this time, subjects have impaired ability to make rational judgments and understand common dangers, which then puts them at risk for accidents and personal injury. People often use this drug for the experience and for the euphoria it brings to the user. In this era, where people rely to drugs to relieve their sadness, and to take away their pain for a short amount of time. Is it their fault that through a single pill, they can change what's on their mind? 